nearly 60 today. I think these bees have been cooped up for a while. My dog just saw my wife and kids for flying a kite. Video bombing me there. This is an awesome activity. Really cool. Boy, they've got a lot of energy. Not seeing anything coming in except some ultra bee. It's kind of a dull yellow color. Looks like it's some hen bit or something blooming. looks a lot weaker than the rest. Take a look at them. Well, they're not weak. Still got good weight. And it's good to be surrounded by this much bee life. <laughs> I haven't felt this much energy in a while. Goodness, that's awesome. Love it. Absolutely love it. So I think most, most of this is orientation flights. There's a lot of orientation flights going on. You see the bees doing figure eights in front of the hives. That tells me I've got brood uh, emerging or has emerged over the last week or two. So that's a good sign. Looks like everybody in this yard is alive and moving. Well, this is my lightest weight hive. I thought they were in danger of starving. And then I've got the weather to dig into them and find out what's going on with them. So I'm doing that. And I think I know <laughs> they are just not very thrifty or conservative. This is a box of bees. They're huge and they're brooding. That's a full sheet of brood in there. I'll try to pull it out so I can show it to you. So it's January 28th, I think. End of January. That tells me something. I'll be splitting in March, I guarantee it. There's another sheet there. And look at the bees. Goodness. So these girls are so big. I've got uh, one Hive Alive Fawnet patty that was on them and they're mostly through that. So I'm gonna put another one on here, let them finish this one out, but give them a, another one to be working on. With as much brood as they've got, we've got two weeks of cold, rainy weather coming up. Man, they could fall on their faces and, and starve as much as they're trying to brood right now. We're getting into the dangerous time of year, February and March, or when bees starve around here. Um, especially if we get poor weather, poor flight weather, and can't get anything blooming. So, something to think about. This is a very different type of hive from that last one. Top box, almost completely full of honey. Very few bees in there. You can see we've got a very small cluster with a whole lot of food in it. A little darker bee in here. These may be more carniolan or Caucasian. 
interesting. It's amazing how different two can be. Each has got advantages. So to all my Northern friends, Russell up in Minnesota, thinking of you, you've probably got snow on the ground, see your breath and quite a while until you can crack a hive open. Yeah, I, I hate it for you. Just hate it for you. Ha, ha, ha.